Hey, what's up guys? It's Laura and today I'm doing a book talk video for you guys because I just finished reading an amazing book that I really just want to talk about. Um, I already went ahead and wrote up an, a full review and that is up on my blog so I will link it below so you guys can check that out if you want to. Um, but the book that I just read and loved so much is Nowhere But Here by Katie McGarry. This is the first book in her new Thunder Road series and this one released back in May. I read, read all of her um, Pushing the Limits series and I love it so much. So when I saw that this one was coming out, um, I was pretty sure I was going to buy it, but I was still kind of up in the air if I wanted to just get it from the library um, and then buy it at a later date and time. But um, back in May, uh, I think it was like a week or maybe like just a couple days before this released, um, I was able to go and attend the Rochester Teen Book Festival and Kim was on a panel with Julie Kagawa and I was lucky enough to sit in on that and hear Katie speak and I heard her talk about this book and her experiences writing the book and it was at that point I knew that I was going to buy this one and was that was that and encompass everything that comes with being in a motorcycle club um, and kind of show the difference between a motorcycle club and being in a motorcycle gang, which a lot of people, their brains immediately think, you know, bad, illegal, you know, stuff like that. But um, she wanted to set out and prove that they're not all like that. And this book truly does do that. She also told us a little bit about her childhood and teen years growing up, and a lot of her inspiration for this book came from um, her experiences and where she spent a lot of time growing up as far as um, the layout of the property in this book. It's just kind of like this huge, huge area with like a lake and you know houses and everybody just is always spending time there and whatnot. So this one follows a girl named Emily and Emily currently lives in Florida with her mom and her adoptive father and once a year her biological father Eli comes down to Florida and spends time with her and she doesn't really like associating with Eli she doesn't really want much to do with him he takes her shopping it's kind of like okay our time here is done um, see you next year she ends up getting word that Eli's mother has passed away and Eli has um, requested that she come back to Snowflake Kentucky where he lives um, for the funeral so her mother agrees this is something she needs to do it would mean a lot to Eli so Emily goes and travels to Snowflake where she ends up um, kind of in danger because a rival motorcycle club um, called the Riot uh, knows she's there and wants to retaliate against the Reign of Terror which is Eli's motorcycle club and so they all decide that it's best for Emily to stay in Snowflake and in order to stay in Snowflake, Eli puts um, Oz, who is one of the younger members of the Reign of Terror's sons, um, in charge of her security. So Oz is trailing Emily, and of course we all know where this is going to go. So Emily and Oz are the main couple of the book, and um, Oz is just so sexy in his badassness. I mean, whew, I was in love with Oz from page one. I mean, this guy is just yum city. So Emily and him have this friction. I mean, you can just feel the tension between the two of them, but they're both like, no, I can never be with you. Like, oh, this isn't going to work. We can never do it. But they end up making out and they're spending so much time together that, you know, eventually something's going to happen. So um, what I love about Katie's writing is that she is one of the best character writers. I mean, honest to God, I feel like when I'm reading her books that the characters are friends of mine, like personal friends of mine that I hang out with and see all the time. I mean, you're in their heads, you're in their lives, you're, you're following them around and everything is just so three dimensional and these characters feel like real true people, like they really exist. It makes you feel like somewhere in Kentucky there really is a tiny little town called Snowflake where these characters are carrying on every day. Um, it's just so good. The other thing I absolutely love about Katie McCary's writing is she is not afraid to take her characters to places that you would be like, wait, whoa, why are you doing this? No, no, don't. There's so many times when I'm reading this book that I'm like laughing and then I'm like, oh God, cringing. And then I'm like, no, and I'm crying. And I love that she can evoke such emotion out of me when I'm reading her books. I mean, she's incredible. And I just, it's so good. Like, I'm not a gigantic contemporary reader, um, but I do read my fair share. But 
I don't even care what it's about. If she writes a book, I'm reading it. I mean, that's just all there is to it. The development in the characters as well is just insane. I mean, Emily, from the beginning of the book, was this just naive, this innocent, kind of ignorant person. Um, she wanted nothing to do with, um, you know, Eli and the motorcycle club and anyone in Snowflake. And then when she gets there and she realizes that the motorcycle club isn't what she thought, and it took her a long, long time to realize that, but she started seeing that, wait a minute, these are people that I'm related to that have meant a lot to my mother in the past. These are people, they're people. They're not a gang, they're not, you know, bad. They're, they're people. And so she gives them a chance and she finds herself among these people and she finds who she really is. And that's what I love. I love that these characters can start out so just, you know, one person, and there's still a lot of Emily in the end of the book, but she has changed, and I love that change that, that comes with And with Oz as well, you know, Oz in the beginning of the book was this headstrong, kind of um, badass, like, motorcycle club is my life, that's all I want to do, I don't want to do anything else, and he's kind of pushed by another character in the book to go to college, maybe explore what else is out there uh, before committing to the club. And in the end of the book, he kind of says, you know, maybe there is more, maybe I can do both and that. And so he becomes kind of like, a, not, I don't want to say a softer person, but he does realize that he does have choices and he can decide for his own life. And that is what I like. So if you are looking for a book that is just packed with amazing characters and an awesome plot and great writing, I would highly, highly recommend that you pick this one up because it's so so good and it took me a little bit to get into it I will admit that like Emily was a little annoying to me at first like I don't know if I were adopted I think I would want to know my bio dad um, if I had the chance but then again I'm not in that situation so I can't say but she was kind of a brat I mean she was a huge brat and so it did take me a little bit to get into Emily's character but once I was it I was it was great um, but the the whole way that the plot develops is awesome like you're just event after event after event leading up I mean you have kind of like your in-between um, plot points that kind of get you to where we're gonna be in the end of the book but towards the end I mean there is this crazy crazy curveball that Katie throws and it's insane what happens like I'm reading it and I'm like whoa 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 did that what just happened like seriously what just happened and then that takes you through the end of the book where everything kind of wraps up and something that I really didn't want to happen happened and it's really sad and that I, I teared up. I did. I'm not going to lie. This book really evoked a lot of emotion for me. So I highly recommend this one. If you haven't read anything by Katie McGarry, I am begging you to please either pick up Nowhere But Here or go pick up Pushing the Limits. You will not be sorry. I promise you you will fall in love with Katie Mae. So that is all for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.